Hey everyone, welcome back to the tax show for people who owe. I'm Dave. And I'm Phil. And we're well into tax season. Every tax season has a story. And Phil, what is the story this year in 2024? Well, some good news first. First time in a long time, Iris is caught up with all the filing and processing of returns. But what we've also noticed is that there's been a slowdown or at least a slow start into people filing their returns this year. This has especially been seen by our volunteers at the VITA program. Oh, VITA program. Glad you brought that up. And thank you to VITA volunteers. What is the VITA program and why is it important for taxpayers out there to know about it? Great question. The VITA program is a program put on by the IRS, stands for Volunteer Income Tax Assistance. This provides free filing services for people under $85,000 in AGI. Mm, Very important point. So not everyone qualifies for this free filing. Correct. Is there any limitation on filing type or is it just based on AGI? Uh, Strictly based on AGI, they can provide like military type returns, international returns. So the the range is pretty broad um, for this program. Okay. Let's go back to the filing pace. It's lower than normal, it's slower than normal. What are some of the things or theories we may have or we're hearing out there for this reason? I think the biggest contender is the child tax credit legislation that's currently with the Senate. And what that means for taxpayers out there is an additional $200 in child tax credit for every child they have. Okay, so you think that the misinformation people are holding back or hearing that there's this big credit coming to hold off, think that's part of it? Absolutely. There's a lot of mystery and confusion about what if I file right now? Do I lose out on that credit if they pass it later on during tax season? But rest assured, just like they did with unemployment, David, IRS has put out there that any adjustments they'll make after the fact. So it's important to file now. So there's no benefit to holding off. If you're owed money, you're going to get it. Absolutely. All right. So let's talk about some of the other filing options taxpayers may have. Let's talk about some free ones. What do they got? Well, you have your free file alliance. So these are DIY products where you can go through kind of like TurboTax and get your done, returns done free. Usually the income limit taps out at 79,000. Okay. Right. These are again, DIY options, but new this year is Iris direct file. Wow. Um, another DIY option, but there's only available in 12 states, but the income limit is much higher at 125 K. Okay, so you can go higher. And the, what we should make it clear to everyone out there is that this is an IRS program, not private industry. Correct. So what is the early feedback on that? Or do we have any? Some feedback is very limited in scope because it is very simple returns, right? Mm-hmm. Standard deductions, but you do still get your EITCs and child tax credits. So for those that if this the bill, it's a great solution. Otherwise, our final option, a licensed tax preparer. Okay, so let's go through, since we're talking about licensed tax preparer, if you're considering going to a face-to-face or dealing with a licensed preparer, what are some of the things we should tell taxpayers out there to hopefully own in on or avoid? Well, let's talk about red flags, right? Okay. A preparer worth their salt is gonna sign their return. Very important. Preparers who don't sign their returns are often called ghost preparers. Well, that's illegal, isn't it? Absolutely, okay. and it's on the hot list for the IRS. Secondly, you want someone that's available year round, right? Questions might come up. Transactions don't just happen during tax season. It's throughout the year. So you want someone available that knows your situation that can advise you accordingly. Great point, Phil. One of our suggestions last year was to avoid tax preparers who put up shop in a laundromat or a liquor store for that time of year. Good luck finding them after tax season, right? Correct. And last, but maybe most obvious, David, is find someone who's licensed. And I'm not just talking about the P10. I'm talking about maybe a state issued license like the CTEC for California or a federally recognized license such as the enrolled agent license, lawyer or a CPA. So as we covered in a prior episode, anyone can register and receive a P10, which makes them eligible to file a return on anyone's behalf. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. So that's why you suggest going for an additional layer of licensing. Explain why. Absolutely. If I'm spending money, especially on my tax return, I want a product that I buy for life. And in financial services, I want someone who has continued education requirements and a little bit higher bar for expertise and knowing what's going on out there. So they have more to lose. Okay, Phil, to recap on the 2024 tax filing season, it's going slower than normal. There are many more free options available for taxpayers who are looking to file. And lastly, the red flags, again, are there. So please try to avoid them if you're considering getting a face-to-face return. All right, so that caps the show for today, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Fill in the last parting words. As usual, do something. You might be waiting around for this law to pass. Don't wait, file today. It's so timely. Thanks again for joining us today, everyone. We'll see you next time. Hey, everyone. Thank you for watching today. Please be sure to like and subscribe 
So you are up to date with all the information you need when you're taking on the IRS. And as always, do something.